I'm Liam Bolland, the press officer here at Fellows. I'm here with Kevin Jackson, auctioneer and valuer, and um, we're going to be discussing this amazing Benny Lynch trophy that we've got up from auction on Monday the 16th of September. Um, this is one of the nicest and most unique items that we've had up for auction. Um, it's particularly in our antique sales. Obviously, it's awarded to Benny Lynch, who was an amazing fighter, as you know, as you know, Kev. Yeah, like I say. It's a real piece of uh, history. This is if you're a, a, a boxing or sporting fan, um, something that you know would grace any collection. Um, struck also in nine karat gold and weighing some impressive 488 grams. Um, detailed with, you know, the, the highlights of this event that he won. Uh, this dates to 1937 and uh, it's for the flyweight championship of the world. Um, impressive. Um, and very unusual because it actually established Benny Lynch as the undisputed um, king at that weight of that time. Um, I understand you went to Scotland, Liam, and did some further work on this for us. Yes, I visited, um, I visited Glasgow a few weeks ago um, to see the People's Palace, and they actually have um, an exhibition for Benny Lynch there. And you, you, I, got, I got the vibe just to know exactly how important and iconic he is to the area in Glasgow. He's undoubtedly, he was one of Glasgow's greatest ever boxers. And um, as, as Kevin just suggested, this, this item, this trophy is what established Benny Lynch as the undisputed flyweight champion of the world, awarded to him in 1937 after he defeated um, Filipino boxer Small Montana um, at Wembley. And um, obviously you can see the amazing detail in, in the trophy itself. Um, it was also awarded a few years later to um, a member of the British Boxing Board of Control, Alfred L. Ellsworth, um, for his work for charity. Um, so yeah, you, you get a good vibe of just how great the trophy is. Um, it's, it's estimated at £5,000 to £8,000 in our upcoming antique sale and um, I'm sure, we're all sure that it's going to get a lot of interest at auction, particularly because of the fascination behind Benny Lynch and how much of an icon he is, in, particularly in the Glasgow area. Yeah, he was a real great boxer, like I say, I mean, he, he's, his record um, detailed some 119 fights, um, 88 of which he actually went on to win, and he must have had an awful punch, because I think 34 of those were by knockout. Um, there have been many lists where he's been, um, he's been listed as one of the greatest flyweight boxers of all time, and this is internationally, not just in Great Britain. Um, you'll, you'll see countless videos and images of him. Um, she was just a phenomenal boxer. It was just it's a shame that his his personal personal life and career went downhill just shortly after the 1930s period. But I'm aware that many of his items became scattered um, shortly after he retired from boxing, and uh, we're we're so fortunate to have one of his most famous items, obviously one of his main trophies, with us here at Fellows. Um, his career, he, he learned the art of boxing as a youngster in the carnivals. Um, and, and obviously uh, progressed onto his uh, onto the professional stage, uh, making his debut uh, in 1931. Um, had a colourful career, and uh, like I say, unfortunately, um, passed away as a pretty young young man at the age of 33 in 1946. Uh, but at the end of the day, he is probably one of the best boxers that Scotland has ever produced. Yeah. The item itself is hallmarked from the 1930s. It's obviously phenomenally made, um, designed, mapping and web. Um, it's very similar to the one that I saw in Glasgow. They have a similar one there in, in their exhibition. Um, it's got the detail on the sides from boxing fights, a bit of information about the fight against Small Montana itself, and then information of obviously how it was presented to Alfred L. Ellsworth. So it's just a phenomenal item that we've got after the auction. So this is lot number 299, and this will be sold on Monday, the September the 16th. Um, the estimate on the lot is five to eight thousand pounds. Um, but a phenomenal piece of uh, boxing history that any sports fan would love.